Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here. We are on Titan. Apparently seems to be the place to be, and we're going to see what Xur has this week. It is September 13th. Uh, definitely more news coming towards Shadowkeep. We've got a preview of a lot of the sandbox changes, so we did definitely cover that on the Last Word podcast. If you guys haven't caught that one, definitely check it out. Always a good time. I feel like we're having some issues with things loading right now, but that's okay. All right, so we are here, of course, the Faded Ingram going through Forsaken, but not the annual pass content. And your Five of the Swords, this gets you uh, the ability to change up your Nightfall modifiers. This may be changing in Shadowkeep, I honestly don't know. But for our gear, we've got the following. Cold Heart. Actually a fun weapon to use. I was using it in Nightfall the other day when it was Arc Burn, just goofing around. Still pretty powerful, um, still pretty decent in PvP. Check out Cool Guys, got a good video over Trace Rifles in PvP, but this one specifically is actually pretty good. So if for some reason you do not have this one, make sure you get it, because armor is going to be the thing that you're going to be getting kind of all over again in Shadowkeep. But weapons, the more weapons you have, the more complete your collection is, the better off you're going to be. So you've got Cold Fusion, your intrinsic perk. This weapon shoots a steady Cold Fusion-powered laser. Longest Winter, Cold Heart's laser does X exponentially more damage the longer it remains on a target. So it continues to add damage the longer you put it on a target. So especially when it comes to something like a major or a boss, you can pump in quite a bit of damage on it when you get the chance to. Also some cool ornaments. This one is one, definitely changes up the look of it. But overall, just a cool gun. If you do not have it, buy that thing. It's definitely pretty cool. For the hunters, we have the Dragon Shadow, old school one. Still a cool looking one. Dodging reloads all weapons and increases both movement and weapon handling speeds for a brief period of time. Um, dodging, getting a reload, and also, you know, handling speed, movement speed, kind of cool things to get right there. Most of the perks on these are really not going to matter when we get into Shadow Keep for the exotics, unless they just have a god roll that you might keep. But generally, the exotics that you have in your collection, you're always going to be able to pull these out of the collection with a basic stat roll and then mod them up how you like. So if you are missing exotics, even if you don't love the perks that are on them, make sure you have a complete collection. If Xur is selling something you don't have, make sure you buy it at least once so you've got it. Hallow Fireheart is for the Titans this week. Uh, we've got Enhanced Linear Fusion Rifle Aim. I mean, I guess I've seen worse things for that. Also Enhanced and Unflinching Bow Aim. Uh, both of those are going to be decent perks, but again, not really doing too much unless you just love those two weapon types. Honestly, more armor and armor 2.0 is just going to be mostly going away. But Sunfire Furnace itself is pretty cool. Improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities. Greatly improves recharge rate while your super is charged. So, it improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities all the time, but greatly improves it while your solar is charged. So, if you don't use your super, uh, you'll be getting your grenades back pretty frequently, uh, especially if you have mo modifier of, like, Brawler, uh, you'll get that one back quicker. Or especially Grenadier, you can throw a lot of grenades quickly. It's pretty fun to actually have this build. build. So, if you don't have this one, make sure you get it. Cool ornament as well that you've got in there. Always pretty cool. Finally, we've got Chromatic Fire. This is a Forsaken Exotic for the Warlocks. Pretty cool one there. Crystalline Transistor. Precision kills with your kinetic weapon create an explosion in the element of your equipped subclass. So this will allow any kinetic weapon to basically have the effect of Dragonfly. And it matches your subclass. So it'll be a Void, Solar, or Arc Explosion depending on the class that you are using. Pretty straightforward. Um, basically just add fireworks to um, kinetic weapons. Now, I know some people have toyed around with this with Ace of Spades, kind of almost a double explosion. It's kind of fun to use, uh, but it's just kind of one that I wouldn't say is really high, but just kind of fun to toy around with. I haven't seen this thing ever be amazing, though. I haven't seen it be, like, a game changer. But maybe a sniper with a headshot in PvP could get, like, a collateral kill. I don't see it getting a whole lot, though. I don't know. Kind of depends. If you're mowing down a whole bunch of little enemies and you're getting explosions every time, could be beneficial. Either way, any armor you see at Xur, if you don't have it, make sure you add it to your collection. Cold Heart, on the other hand, is actually pretty cool, though. Make sure you are completing that weapon collection, because weapons are going to be the things to bring forward if you don't have them yet. All in all, though, hope you guys enjoyed the Xur video. Short and sweet this week. Uh, I'll be playing some Borderlands if my streams want to get their act together. But you guys can find me on Twitch, on Twitter. Ebons is on both, but right here on YouTube. If you haven't subbed yet, only a few weeks away from Shadow Keep, so I really can't wait for that one. Ready to be playing the crap out of that one and um, having an awesome time, taking a little breather in other games and jumping back in in sporadic pieces. So thank you guys for everything. I got to try and get one raid done this weekend, so that's got to happen. Other than that, thank you guys. Have a good one. Everything keeps growing, and I have all of you to thank for that. So Shadow Keep's going to be an awesome time. I will see you soon and uh, enjoy your week. Have a good one.